thank you, Sonia. Well, veterans will no longer be able to call the old Navy base home. For 13 years, the site has housed more than 2,000 homeless vets recovering from drug and alcohol addictions. But now new ownership of the land means that they will have to move. ABC News 4's Leah Sestrick has the story. Manly Avenue was once a place where naval officers and their families lived since 1998. These red brick ranch homes housed homeless veterans, but not for much longer. I just felt safe in this area for the past six years, and now to have to move is devastating. Randall Stafford is one of the thousands of vets who went through the Chesapeake Health Education Program. The organization has run the veterans' villas. The vets can stay there while being treated for drug and alcohol addictions. But 13 years later, director Melissa Kelly says they have to move. She says they've known since May what was going to happen. The property, which was formerly part of the Navy, has now been purchased for the second time, and we are being forced to relocate um, based on the amount of rent they want to collect from us and that they're going to tear down half of our housing. South Carolina Public Railways bought the property last year. Kelly says rather than pay too much in rent for something that was once essentially free, the program will consolidate. Instead of paying, striking the lease agreement with the public railway, we decided to purchase another dilapidated building, and we are in attempts of trying to renovate it properly for the veterans. This is the longest stretch of time I've been without alcohol since I was uh, probably 13 years old. And if it hadn't been for Veteran Villas, I'd probably still be on the street drunk. As for how long these houses will remain, four of the houses could be torn down as early as the end of this week. The other six villas will remain standing until November 1st. Leah Sestrick, ABC News 4. All right, and the program will continue to operate at another location off Ashley Phosphate Road. Now, we did receive a written statement from South Carolina Public Railways. CEO Jeff McWhorter says in response to the property, quote, our offers included six months of free rent. We even asked Chesapeake how much they would be willing to pay. He then adds those offers went without response from Chesapeake. We were and are willing to offer a lease with terms that are favorable to them. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. When Jesus A new lease agreement and a new lease on life for veterans at the old Navy base. Being somewhere new in the first place is, takes an adaption. And then when you have to move again, you have to readapt. And right now, we don't need a lot of adapting because we're fighting that requires stability. 40 veterans will stay in their homes now that a new lease has been negotiated. ABC News Force Leah Sestrick joining us uh, with details of that agreement. Leah? That's right. Chesapeake Health Education Program will continue to operate its veterans program. Local lawmakers help negotiate a new lease between Chesapeake and the South Carolina Public Railways, who owns the property. Local lawmakers made a stand for homeless vets. Veteran issues ought to be our priority in the greatest country in the world. There should not be no homeless veteran. Senator Robert Ford and Representative Wendell Gilliard brought together the two groups and hammered out an 11th hour deal. We're very excited to be able to continue out here. It's the most perfect setting for the housing and we were really distraught with the thought of leaving this area. And so were the 40 veterans who stay at the base while being treated for drug and alcohol addictions. Stay here was, um, you know, ecstatic news. I mean, you know, because uh, like I say, uh, we're already going through changes and we don't need more changes. The lease will be for three years. It is rent free, just as it has been since 1998. This setting, I believe, is, you know, very much fitting to what we're trying to accomplish. I mean, it's, it's like home. The railway purchased the property as a foreclosure last year. In May, the nonprofit was told they would have to pay rent or move out. Had to have take, taken care of this as soon as possible, but I'm glad that we did come to a compromise. The director of the Chesapeake Health Education Program says this will give them time to do the renovations needed at its other location on Ashley Phosphate Road. Leah Sestrick, ABC News 4. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. When Jesus was born. When Jesus was born.